northern region, where the MTTD commander for the northern region, Superintendent Mahmoud Yusuf, has disclosed that until his outfit achieves 70 percent road user compliance within the Tamale metropolis, they will continue to impound unregistered motorbikes as well as enforce the wearing of crash helmets within the metropolis. There's more in this report by our northern regional correspondent, Noah Nash. Over 6,500 motorbikes have been registered by the DVLA in the northern region in less than two months during a joint operation by the National Road Safety Authority and the Motor Traffic and Transport Department of the Ghana Police Service within the Tamale metropolis. This has enhanced the revenue mobilization of the DVLA by 90% through registration and vehicle renewal compliance by motorbike owners and sellers within the region. Despite the periodic enforcement at the various intersections, many riders are adamant about the need to wear crash helmets, blaming it on the harsh weather conditions. However, the regional MTTD commander, Superintendent Mamoudou Yusuf, said no consideration will be given to riders who fail to wear crash helmets. Once you jump onto your motorbike, the next thing that should click your mind is no, I haven't taken my helmet. So there shouldn't be any consideration for people who come to tell us that, no, I've, I forgot my helmet at home. No, I will not take that. Until I achieve 70% compliance with both registration and compulsory wearing of the, of, the, of, of the crash helmet, the exercise is not going to be stopped. This I can assure you. Some victims who went through the process of retrieving their motorbike shared their experience with the GH1 news team at the regional headquarters. It's a good idea because you know, criminals are everywhere and you, you don't know who is a criminal, who is real. Okay. So once they do, they may come to know the real owners of some motorbikes. It may even expose some people here because they may not have the documents to prove that the motor actually belongs to them. The process is not all that there's some one thing problems, they, they don't, it's tedious. And sort of treating us like work was, it's only by opportunity. All this now they happen to be police officers and we are not. But they treat us without respecting our humanity. 